The Bible says we do not know how we ought to pray, but it is the Holy Spirit which helped our infirmities. Lift up your hands. Close your eyes. Just lift up your hands unto him. Your life cannot continue to grow in circles. The time has come for you to move forward. Look at all the prophecies that came upon this house. God is ready to move. God is ready to perform. But then you must be, you must be in the mix with the Lord. Father, we lift up our hearts to you. The Bible says the entrance of your word brings light. And it changes us. You send your word. You heal us. And you deliver us from all destruction. Father, everything that has destroyed our prayers, they go this morning in Jesus' name. And in their place, oh God, we receive the unction to pray. The mantle of prayer falls upon this house, this house in the name of Yeshua the Messiah. We receive for each individual with hands lifted up the transformative power of God that gives access. The Bible says things your eyes have not seen, your ears have not heard, things that have not occurred could never even occur in your heart. God has prepared for you. Yet you wallow. But from this day, in the name of Yeshua, we take on that spirit in the name of Jesus. And we are like arrows in the hands of our God that it fires straight to the bullseye of targets in the name of Jesus. The Bible says before you call upon him, he will answer you. So shall it be for each and every one under the sound of my voice. We go in this mantle and the glory of God shall be seen in our lives in Jesus' name. Then please point your hands onto Pastor Wale and Pastor Laulu. I don't know how to pray for them, but the Spirit will help us. So just pray in the Spirit for them. Yili hanka sata mali anke turi mali manda zuble hinda zu kalima mukra hilanda zu tebele senda iya huzen toli ki dili handa zu krama hilanda zanta bakaya. I'm hearing the world another face, another face, a new season, a new beginning. Me suke lila mukra bulu senda yalu katu madin landa zundeli kramunde zeteheya. Imakuli manda zontole krulinda zataya. Father, we thank you. The Bible says the giftings and the callings of God are without repentance. The Bible says, have you called? Will you not make it come to pass? Thank you for how far you have brought your children, O oh God. Father, again, we thank you for the new door that is opened unto them. And Lord, we bless you because when you open the door, you make a way for the entrance. And therefore, by the power of the Holy Ghost, we usher you, Pastor Wale, Pastor Lalu, into next dimensions of your life. In the name of Yeshua, go and do valiantly in the name of Jesus. I'm hearing you are feeling tired. No, God is refreshing your strength in the name of Jesus. And every prophecy that is upon this house, the mantle of the work that is yet to be done, you shall be standing in your place to perform them in the name of Jesus. And you will be celebrated at the end of the day by the one who called you. He will welcome you both and he will say to you, well done, thou good servants. Come into the rest of your master. So shall it be in the name of Jesus. We give praise, Father. Blessed be your name. In Jesus' mighty name. Now we have a business to do. Nigeria is, um, God is tired of the way Nigeria is. And he has made a way available, but we have not caught it. Amen? I'll just lay two principles of prayer, and then we will fire on. The first one, the events of the last few days show us that we have right at our doorsteps venomous enemies who are ready at every slight provocation to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Are we all agreed? Now, when you think about it, looking at what Pastor Diolu was sharing, when you want to pray, you say, and look at what that lady said. He said, Holy Ghost fire, thunder them. That is, I mean, the, the, the lady that was murdered. Amen? But how can a child of God invoke the wrath of his God 
and she's the one that is consumed. Something is amiss. Amen? So, the wish of God is not that the sinner would perish, but that he would be recovered. The plans of God for our brethren, our relations in the north, is to recover them for Christ. A shekarao that becomes Saul to Paul is better in the hands of God than all the pastors put together. Amen? If Buhari receives conversion today, imagine what will happen. So God has been provoking us, opening our eyes, trying to let us know that we ought to pray them into salvation. Amen? So the scriptures in Proverbs 16 verse uh, 7 or 8 says, When a man's ways are pleasing unto the Lord, what does he do? All his enemies, they are commanded to be at peace with him. So when he was talking of righteousness, it means that our ways have not been pleasing unto the Lord. So as the light in Nigeria, we have not been pleasing unto the Lord. Amen? But he has sent his word to us. I don't know how many churches in Nigeria are hearing this kind of word today. But he has sent, why? Because there is a commission upon this house. Nigeria and Guardian Land Assembly have a destiny intertwined. Amen? There's a commission upon this house, and we are going to pray the right prayers. And secondly, I want to use another scripture in Romans 8, verse 20. You know, the Bible says, creation is groaning, waiting for the manifestation of the children of God. So Nigeria is suffering. It's, it's in pain. It's in chaos, waiting for you and I to manifest. And the Bible now says, it is not because of the faults of creation that it is like that. He said, it is God that planned it like that. So this is what he was saying when he was saying, knowing the intent of God. So God has allowed all this chaos so that we will be provoked to do what we should do, then we will see the power of God move. Amen? So that the glory of God will cover Nigeria from the coast to the desert. And the name of the Lord will be praised from everywhere. You know, uh, Elijah said, these people are tossed around with two opinions. Eh? We must know who God is. Are you not tired? Who is God? Is he Allah or Jehovah? The time has come. For that matter to be settled. And God will use our prayer this morning. So how do we pray this morning? How do we pray? The scriptures God gave me is the total book of Joel. This similar thing happened to Judah and to Israel. So they had neighbors, relatives that were dealing with them the way we are being dealt with. They became unto them terrorists, oppressors, killers, murderers. They, 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 they wasted their crops, they wasted their resources, and they were virtually... And God said, this mighty army, in Joel 2, he said, it is the orchestration of God. Can you imagine? So this thing going on, we think it's the devil doing it. It is because we have slept on the Lord. Amen? He wants to wake us up. So first thing, lift up your hands to him and say, God, recover me from my slumber. Recover me from my blindness. Recover me from everything that has stolen me away from your will. Establish me in your righteousness. Give me eyes to see what you see, to hear what you say. Jesus said, I did nothing save that which I see my father do. How can we be praying? How can be billions, millions of us are praying, praying, praying over Nigeria for the last 20 years and there's no change? It's because we pray that means. But now, God opened my eyes to have understanding. And upon this house, in the prophecy, he said, it will be like a mantle will fall upon us. As the children of Issachar, we will have understanding and we will know what to do. So let that mantle fall upon you in the name of Jesus. What do you pray about now? No longer fire, catch them. Father, let them have the Damascus experience. Amen. Stephen was being stoned to death. And in the leadership of that team was a man called Saul. And they were stoning Stephen. And Stephen cried out unto the Lord. He said, Father, leave not this in their account. Have mercy upon them. They walk in darkness. They don't know what they are doing. And immediately on his journey to Damascus, the one who led the team of the Moradas became the greatest apostle of God. So shall God do with Nigeria. In the name of Jesus the Christ. My time is going. 
Lord, I have a lot to say, but I will just round up. Please lift your hands up with me. Father, we thank you that this is the day of provocation. It is the day, oh God, where we no longer praise, but Christ prays through us. For the battle is the Lord's. Nigeria and all that are daring are yours. From the ones we call the unbelievers, the ones who are our northern brothers, you have loved them all with an everlasting love. Your plans for them is that they will not be destroyed, but that they will be saved. That the entrance of your lights will take the veil that covers them from knowing and seeing you. And therefore, we stand in agreement with your will over the northern parts of Nigeria that do not know you. We say the veil be removed in the name of Jesus. We are asking for the Damascus experience for the leaders of their team. A personal encounter with you as they won the way you did with Saul on the way to Damascus. Do with as many as you have identified in the name of Jesus that they will no longer be tossed about in deceit by the devil about who is God. Settle this matter once and for all, O oh God, and let there be peace in our land in the name of Jesus. And Father, as we round up, for as many as are called of your own, the Bible says we are the light of the world. We are the salt of the earth. Nigeria, we are your light. Nigeria, we are your salt. We rekindle, we submit to the Holy Ghost. Rekindle our light in the name of Jesus. And where we have lost taste, where the servant of Christ is not in us. Father, reconfigure us in the name of Jesus. Father, the scripture says, no longer I that lives, but Christ that lives is now that lives in me. And the life I live now, I live by the faith of him who loved me and died for me. As your hands are lifted up, I decree upon you, by the entrance of the Spirit upon you and into you in another dimension, it shall no longer be you that lives. You are crucified with Christ, and now Christ shall be made known in you in the name of Jesus. Thank you, precious Father. We open ourselves unto your possibilities, and we will continue in this attitude of prayer, and as we align ourselves with your will, your name shall be glorified. We give you all the glory. We give you all the praise. Thank you, Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we pray.